Maps are key value structures great for storing related data. Let's go ahead and start our terminal and get our Elixir shell up and running with IAX. Creating a map is simple. You just use a percentage sign and then opening and curl, uh, closing curly braces. And you add your key value pairs like this. So we can say my map, we're creating a variable here. And then our key value pair is just a, a percentage sign opening curly brace. And then you do your key and that followed by the value of that key. And then you can do comma, another underscore key. And then this could be a new value, which could be a number. And then we can go ahead and close that curly brace. And that is a map. And then to get values from a map, it's super easy. And you can either use dot notation or brackets. So for example, dot notation looks like this. We can say my underscore map, and then we can just say dot key and we get value back. And then if you wanna see how brackets work, it's my map and then square brackets. And you say another key atom form and then we get 42 back so you can you can do it either way now remember maps are immutable so when you update a map you create a new version but you can add a new key and value like this so we can say our updated map equals and then map dot put and then all you do is pass in the map that you want to update so we want to update my map and then comma and then you just do your new key we'll call it new key and then the value associated with that key and when we do that now we have our third key added to my map and now you can also delete values and keys from maps using map dot delete and the same same kind of thing you pass in the map that you want to delete from and then all you have to do is pass the key you want to delete. So we'll delete another key. And now that 42 is going to disappear when I hit enter. Little important thing here. I passed in my map, with, which is just the two values, not updated map. So if we wanted to delete it from the three values, we can just do um, instead of my map here, updated map and now we still have the new key and the key without another key there so that's how put and delete work now you can also combine two maps we have a function called map.merge and all you would do is have your uh, two maps so we can have like key a value one uh, key b value two, close that map and then comma and then put our second map that we want to merge together and this could be key with value three with a key d with value four close those curly braces and now parentheses and now we're going to have one map with all those values now this is important to notice maps are not ordered like lists so if you notice c is in the front which so you never you can't really grab values from a map by index so that is why you're always going to have to uh, use dot notation or brackets with the key value now you can also convert a map to a list of tuples with map to list so we can do map dot two underscore list and then let's pass in up above we have updated map we can pass that in and now this will be converted to a key value list and now to find how many key value pairs are in a map we can use map underscore size and we can just pass in the map so updated map and we should get a three back the reason all three values are still in updated list is because we didn't reset it to the variable right so we just deleted it and the return comes back to us but we weren't setting it to a variable if you were confused by that for a second. That's our quick intro to maps in Elixir. Maps are incredibly useful for organizing and storing data in key value pairs. So play around with it, get comfortable with it, and I will see you in the next video.